sometimes when we bring a property to the market, it's got that much of a wow factor that it can stop you in your tracks. And I think that today's feature is gonna do exactly that. Now I've decided to start here in the back garden of this property for a couple of reasons. First of all, because usually with terrace properties, you can tend to assume that they're only gonna offer a rear yard. But as you can see, this particular property offers a lot more than that. And the second reason why I've started here is because of this beautiful weather that I wanted to take advantage of. It's just gone three in the afternoon right now. The sun is positioned right on the back of the house and I'm told that it's gonna stay there right until the end of the day. Now this property was built in 1863, so it's a proper period home, this one. It's got loads of those original features and characteristics that I know loads of you are gonna absolutely love. It's built over four floors. It's got multiple reception rooms and although it's officially a three bed house, if you're looking for a four or even five bed, and keep on watching. Right, so we step through a separate or an enclosed porch and then we enter into the main hallway. And what a space this is. It's absolutely huge. And as soon as you step inside, you know that this is a special place. We've got 12 inch skirting boards, we've got column radiators, dado rails, picture rails, the cornice, ceiling roses, and all of this is just in the entrance hallway. So you know that this is an unbelievable property. So this is the first of those reception rooms and it's a beautiful space, this. I absolutely love the wood flooring that you find on the ground floor. You've got a huge bay window to the front letting in loads of light. Those ceilings are around 11 feet tall as well, which I know people are gonna love about this home. Check out this, a beautiful open fire with that stunning marble surround. And further down the corridor is reception room number two. Now this room's absolutely beautiful. It's like stepping into a boutique hotel or even like a Victorian museum, but in a really good way. Again, tall ceilings, tall skirting boards, the dado, the picture rails, it's stunning, okay? Now this flooring is actually refurbished maple ballroom floor. So make sure you've got your dancing shoes on when you come in here. Once again, we've got another stunning feature fire surround. This time it's cast iron and that's an open fire. So you can have a lovely living flame in here. But what I like most about this room is the fact that you've also got the ability to step on through here into what we'll call the garden room. Now, such is the size of this hallway, it's almost like it's in two separate parts because it's set back at this point. And then as we come past those two reception rooms, past this open spindle staircase and another traditional column radiator there, you'll find that we go past this door, which I'll show you about that shortly, and then head on into the kitchen. And after seeing those two huge reception rooms, that summer room and just how big the hallway is, I wasn't expecting the kitchen to be quite as big as this. It's a really good size. There's loads of work surfaces, loads of fitted units. You've got space for a bit of a small uh, breakfast table or dining table here. The current owners have also converted what was the original chimney breast into a space that now perfectly fits a range cooker. And if you wanted a little bit of another nod to some of the history of this property, well this here, that's how you would have got the servant's attention. Right then, so what's through this door? Well, that's where we'll find the cellar room. Now it's bone dry, it's been tanked down there and it's currently used as a bit of a workshop. But because of those high ceilings, it's got so much potential to be converted into additional living space. Right then, onto the landing and the theme continues. It's just as impressive. You've got that wooden floor, those tall ceilings and all of those original features. I love the fact that it steps up here down that huge corridor towards the rear of the house, but it also steps up there as well towards those front bedrooms. And one other thing to point out here about the landing is you've got that inclusion of a light well, which has been recently added into the loft space. Right, so let's start towards the rear down this huge corridor, which is bigger than most people's entrance hallways. And at the very far end of the corridor, that's where we'll find the family bathroom. And then on my right, well, this is where we find the smallest of the bedrooms, believe it or not and it's still a beautiful, really good sized room. It's overlooking the rear, so you get some great views over the garden. You've got a gorgeous cast iron fire surround. And it's like stepping into a hotel room, this. So that makes this the master bedroom, and it's probably my favorite room in the house, purely because of the size. It spans the entire width of the home, and I think when people look at this style of house, they usually go crazy for a bedroom like this. Uh, much like bedroom number two, you've got those traditional fitted wardrobes. I've said it again, but you've got the, uh, the cast iron fire surround. It's got dual windows on the front, which I always think is great, but 
what that does is allow for some potential remember i said that this house could be converted and knocked around to create an additional room and what lots of people do with this style of house is from here put a little bit of a vestibule on partition this room and because you've got those two windows you'd still have a great size bedroom on here and a single bedroom here giving yourself that all important additional room and up into the loft space and did you ever think you'd have your very own meditation room because that's what this is admittedly the color scheme might not be for everybody blue carpets red walls and ceilings but that's just a little bit of cosmetic uh, decor really it's nothing to worry about but what i like most about this room is the floor space now remember it's not officially a bedroom but you can guarantee it'd be used as such but these here that you see these pillars now they're not weight bearing so they could quite easily be taken out if you didn't want your own yoga room or meditation room you could remove these and give yourself even more floor space so there it is that's number 102 manchester road what a spectacular property don't forget you don't only get all of that incredible internal space but you also get this huge sun soaked rear garden the other thing that i forgot to mention at the start is that this property does also have a utility room or a bit of an outbuilding on the back with loads of power running water so that's always going to be handy for additional storage so if you like what you see or you want to know a little bit more information about this property get in touch on those details that follow and we cannot wait to show you around this one